So this video, we're going to explain exactly why these concepts of eigenvalues and eigenvectors are so important. And it comes down to something known as the diagonalization formula. So I'm going to explain what this is. So to start out with, suppose that A is an n by n matrix. And we suppose that this n by n matrix has n eigenvectors, n e vex, I'm right, n e vex, v1 up to v n, and n eigenvalues, lambda 1 up to lambda n. Now this assumption really is an assumption, that is, not all n by n matrices have n eigenvectors. In the, in the next video or so, I'll give an example of a matrix which does not have n eigenvectors. But most of the time they do. Okay? And this diagonalization formula works in the case when you can find an n by n matrix with n eigenvectors, which includes all the examples we've seen so far. Okay. So the fact that these are eigenvectors and eigenvalues means that you have the equations a times the vector vi is lambda times vi. And this is true for i going from 1 up to n. So we have n equations like this. Now you can write all of these equations down in a single matrix equation as follows. I have the matrix A. And if I multiply this by a matrix which has V1 eigenvector in the first column, and then V2 eigenvector in the second column, and all the way across, so Vn eigenvector in the nth column. So this is another n by n matrix here, right? Then this, you see if you multiply the matrices, A will be multiplied by V1 here. So that gives you lambda 1 V1 in the first column of this matrix. And then A is multiplying V2 here. So you get lambda 2 V2 in the second column. And then it goes all the way across lambda n Vn in the last column. Okay, so you can write this down, these n eigenvector equations, you can write down as a single matrix equation like this. And this one, this one, you can write again as a multiplication of two matrices. This is the multiplication of the matrix V1, V2, up to Vn. That's the same matrix as here, right? With the matrix which has the eigenvalues going down the diagonal and has zeros everywhere else. Okay, so lambda's down the diagonal, zeros everywhere else. Okay, and you can convince yourself this works. When I multiply these two matrices together, lambda 1 multiplies everything in the first column, that's V1. Right? Lambda 2 multiplies everything in the second column, that's V2, and so on. Okay, so you, hopefully you'll agree that these two are the same. Now, if I call this vector here, sorry, this matrix here, which is the matrix of eigenvectors, I'll call this the matrix P. Okay, so here again you see you have the matrix P, and this matrix, which I'll call capital lambda, this is the matrix of eigenvalues. So with these definitions, you see that you can write this equation as A times P, equals p times lambda, okay. or I can multiply both sides by the inverse of p on this side. p is always invertible if a has n eigenvectors. That's why you need this condition. And you can write it as a equals p lambda p minus 1. Okay. And it's this formula, this formula here, which is known as the diagonalization formula. It's called the diagonalization formula because this lambda matrix has only non-zero things on the diagonal down here, and this is called a diagonal matrix. So this matrix is diagonal, and you write A in terms of a diagonal matrix, so it's called the diagonalization formula. Okay? So that's a diagonalization formula, so these two matrices P and lambda are the ones you need to find. 
P, as I said, is the matrix which has the eigenvectors in the columns, and lambda is the matrix which has the eigenvalues down the diagonal, like this. Okay. So that's the diagonalization formula. So I'll just do a quick example of this. If I take A, which we did in the previous video, that was this matrix, okay, then we found its eigenvectors and eigenvalues. That was lambda 1 was minus 2, with vector V1 is 1 minus 1, and lambda 2 was 1, with V2 equals 1, 2. That's what we found in the previous video. Then in this case, then, P is the matrix with the eigenvectors in the columns. So the first eigenvector is 1 minus 1. The second eigenvector is 1, 2. Okay. Now, we also need to calculate the inverse of this matrix here. So the inverse of this is determinant is 3. So that's 1 over 3. And then these swap over. These multiply minus 1. So that's the inverse. And lambda is the matrix which has the eigenvalues down here. Okay, So the first eigenvalue is minus 2, and the second eigenvalue is 1. Right. So these are the matrices that you need to use in this diagonalization formula for A. And we can just check that it works. Okay. Let's just check that this formula is correct. So P lambda P minus 1. Is so I'll take the factor to the third to the front. So that's a third times p, which is that, times lambda, which is that, times p minus one, which is that. Okay. Now just multiply it together. So this times this is minus four, two, one, one. This is a third. Minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3, 2 plus 1 is 3, 4 plus 2 is 6, minus 2 plus 2 is 0, which is minus 1, 1, 2, 0, which indeed is equal to A. Right? So that shows that this diagonalization formula is correct, at least for this example. And indeed, you can check that it's always correct. Okay, This derivation here is, is right. So provided that your matrix has n eigenvectors and n eigenvalues, you can always write it as the product of a matrix P of eigenvectors times a diagonal matrix lambda of eigenvalues times the inverse of the matrix P. So that's what the diagonalization formula is. It's very useful, and the next video will show you how to use it.